So I'm down here on uh, Beach Road, or off of Beach Road here in Pattaya. And gosh, beautiful sunset here. Anyway, so today I, you know, I just kind of wanted to, uh, I've had several people ask me, hey, what's the difference? You know, which, which is better, Thailand or the Philippines? And, uh, you know, each one has their pluses. So it, it really kind of, kind of depends on what your situation is. You know, if you're, uh, if you're on a fixed income and, um, you know, you, you need to really keep your expenses down low my thought is uh, you could probably uh, do that maybe better in the Philippines. Uh, but if you enjoy the, uh, the nightlife and, uh, you know, the bars and, and all of that, and if you like uh, fine restaurants and stuff, it's probably a, uh, you may like Thailand more. You know, so, uh, yeah, you can kind of see uh, one other, one thing is uh, the infrastructure in, in Thailand is, uh, it, it's much better, you know, so I'm not going to uh, try to sugarcoat anything here. The, uh, the infrastructure is, is quite a bit better, and there is, uh, you don't see uh, poverty quite so much, you know, there's no trash on the uh, sides of the roads and and stuff like that you know so it's uh, it's very clean a lot of times I'll get up in the morning walk down the street or down the soy and uh, almost daily everybody uh, sweeps sweeps in front of their business you know so it's uh, yeah it, it's quite there's quite a difference there now the other side to that is in the Philippines you know if you if you want a you know a fantastic meal you can get it uh, it's just in, in Thailand it's more uh, readily available you've got a bigger selection of food choices Everything from Indian food to Pakistani food to uh, American food to steaks, just everything, and Thai food. And so, if if you really like Thai food, then uh, it's probably you know a real plus for you. And also, when you go out to a restaurant. Uh, if it's in a touristy area, for instance, the uh, it, if you look toward the back of the menu, that's usually where they have the Thai dishes, and you'll notice that they're substantially cheaper. You know, so uh, yeah, if you like if you like Thai food and you can adapt to the local ways, you can really live cheaply. And also, if you're visiting an area such as Pattaya, for instance, or, uh, or Bangkok, or wherever you're at, if you're in one of the major tourist places, usually if you go down a soy, you'll be able to uh, get your meals much cheaper, you know, than, than if you're, say, uh, walking along the beach where all the tourists go. So if you just take a couple minutes to go down the side street, you can usually save quite a bit of money. So I'm going to continue walking here. Uh, the next item I wanted to cover 
is the uh, the people. So the people in both places are are really friendly. You know. So, uh, however, I, I've got to say that the Philippine people, you know, they will. They're so friendly that you know if. If you ask them, uh, they probably give you the shirt off their back. You know, so they uh, can be extremely helpful, and and it also makes it a lot easier because uh, in the Philippines, English is the second language, and most people you can communicate easily with. Whereas. Uh, in Thailand, once you leave the tourist area, it can be really difficult to uh, communicate. So I, I kind of went over this in a previous video that it's just uh, really good to learn a little bit of Thai before you go to Thailand. Unless you're just going to be in, you know, Bangkok or Pattaya for uh, a couple days or something, then it probably wouldn't matter. But if you're going to be traveling around Thailand, gosh, it's so important to just know a few, a few Thai words, you know, like slow down, something like that, you know, when you're in a taxi or be able to say uh, how much in Thai. Yeah, just some basic stuff like that. As far as... Uh, you know, renting a property. Now, if you're, uh, whether it be Thailand or the Philippines, I, I believe it's the same in, in Vietnam too, although I haven't been to Vietnam yet. But if you go to rent a place, if you rent for a month or more, you're gonna get a, uh, a much better rate on the rental. You know, so if you know you're gonna be there for three months, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe you rent uh, a hotel or something for a couple of days while you find something and then rent for uh, 30 days even though they such as in the Philippines they may say oh 90 day rental you know but if you ask and say hey will you go 30 mm, half the time they're gonna say yes and uh, you know you don't want to leave too much of a deposit uh, yeah, because it makes sure that you're going to get it right when you move out. Now, I was in one place in the Philippines where they didn't return your money for like, uh, gosh, I think it was 60 days uh, that I didn't stay there. You know, so, uh, yeah, you want to make sure you're going to get your deposit back right away the day you move out. You know, don't, because once you leave if they're you know if they're not on the up and up and they decide they want to uh, just hang on to your deposit and they're in some other country that's eh, pretty hard to get that money back so uh yeah so you don't want to go that route both places compared to the west are you know incredibly reasonable there's uh I hear all these different prices that people quote as far as being able to live and you know if, if you're in either place whether it be uh, Thailand or the Philippines you know if you can't get by on about 1500 a month then you you know you've got some kind of problem you know you're Unless you're just here to have fun for a week or a couple days, you know, then it, it doesn't matter. But uh, if you're trying to live, you know, on a regular basis, just like you're in the U.S. or the U.K. or something like that, then, uh, yeah, you should be able to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, get by on that with without any kind of problem. So, uh, and that would be going with, uh, you know, maybe $500 a month for rent, uh, that kind of thing. Wow, 
wind is really picking up here. So, uh, yeah, to me, that, that's an, an ideal amount. And, you know, hopefully you've got like 2000 a month coming in or so, so you can save and you should always, it doesn't matter where you're at, you should always be able to save some money. And, uh, you know, if you don't, then you, you've got a problem. So, also the other thing that I want to cover is in both the Philippines and Thailand, there is no, uh, there's no safety net at all. You know, so, yeah, you want to make sure you've got uh, either medical insurance or, or you have, you know, money in the bank or, or credit. You want to have something in case something goes wrong. You know, so I, I can say that the, uh, the cost of medical in both places is much, much, much cheaper than uh, in the West, at least uh, in the US or the UK or Canada, I believe. Well, I think Canada has free health care. I'm not sure about Canada, but uh, definitely compared to the US, there's just a huge difference, you know. So, but still you want to have money in reserves in case something goes wrong in both places. Now I'm going to say, as far as crime goes, I would say the uh, Thailand has less crime. You know, although I've never had anything happen to me in the Philippines at all. But you do need to keep your, uh, hmm, where, you know, you need to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, in the Philippines and Thailand for that matter. You know, usually the people that I've met that have been robbed, let's say uh, in the Philippines, I've never met anybody that's been robbed in Thailand, but in the Philippines, uh, those people were drunk you know, when they got robbed. You know, so here they are, it's, it's dark out, they're uh, staggering home, you know, staggering back to their condo or place. And uh, that's when you're, that's when they're gonna get, you know, they're an easy target at that point. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of the, uh, that's one, one big difference. In Thailand, you can usually, if, if you leave something, for instance, you go into a coffee shop and you accidentally leave your phone, a lot of times it'll still be there an hour later, you know, so uh, there is a, a little difference in safety and the poverty level is, uh, is a lot lower in Thailand than uh, in the Philippines. So, so those are kind of the differences, you know, and, and so I know that most people that are considering the move are thinking, well, what's, you know, what are the differences? Well, these are them. One other big difference is uh, immigration. Uh, in the Philippines, you can get the uh, tourist visa and keep extending that. I think you can extend it for up to two years. Don't quote me on that, but I believe they had just changed it to two or they are changing it. It used to be three from what I've heard and etc. But I, I don't want to give the wrong info, so you want to verify that. Uh, also, uh, when I came into Thailand, you know, I was told that uh, they had changed it. They're now switching to 60 days. But uh, when I came in through immigration, they, they hadn't changed it yet. So uh, it's, it was still at 30. Uh, as far as I know, it's probably still at 30. So it's not, uh, yeah. It could have been changed, but I, I just, yeah. It, I came in after they had uh, announced that. And 
person that I spoke to there, she said they just don't have it in place yet. It, you know, it's still 30 days and then you have to pay to extend for another 30 days. And uh, yeah, it's a similar situation in the Philippines, but the difference is, is that in the Philippines, uh, you extend for 30 days. And then I believe after that, you can get a 60-day uh, extension. At least that's what it was. And you can keep extending. Now, I, I think after at the end of two years, you have to leave the country for a day. And then uh, that starts all over again. So, uh, yeah, don't quote me on this. Verify it with a uh, immigration specialist if you're, you know, looking at doing that. So, uh, I, you know, I, I know that Thailand's got some new visas in the works, like the a digital nomad visa. You know, so that sounds like a, a great thing for somebody that's making uh, money online somehow. Um, yeah, the other... Uh, the other thing to be aware of is the uh, the new tax laws that are going into effect in Thailand. You know, so uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's all just kind of at this point not really clarified. So, but you'll want to check that out because they were, you know, talking about taxing your income. Uh, even if you're bringing it in from a, another country. And, uh, but I, I think if you're only staying less than six months out of the year, then that may not affect you. But again, you know, you wanna verify this stuff with a uh, immigration person. Don't take my word on it because uh, I'm just going by what I've heard. So, yeah, so these are the, the differences between the two places, you know, I. If, if you're not willing to learn a little bit of Thai and you're actually looking at relocating, then I would say maybe the Philippines is a better bet for you. But if you're willing to, uh, you know, spend a little bit of time and learn, learn the Thai language or at least a few words, then, uh, you know, they both have their pluses. And it's best to go to both places, stay there for a month, and then make your decision but but plan on staying there for at least a month so that you can really get a feel for what it's like and when you are visiting whether it be the philippines or thailand you know try to uh interact with the local people don't just hang out with the expats because uh you you know you really need to do that to to really get a feel for things so uh yeah anyway i hope hopefully some of this information was beneficial to you and if it wasn't well then have a good day or evening wherever you are hey thanks so much for listening it's a beautiful place either place is incredibly beautiful has fantastic prices and you know as long as you can adapt to the uh, to the different cultures you should be able to save a lot of money and have a great time so all right thanks bye to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as a kid